and today I'm review for you set number 70914 Bane Toxic Truck Attack. This is uh one of the costlier sets. Um it, it's about fifty dollars. Um it is a pretty cool set, but it does feel like it lacks in some of um uh, some parts of the set. Okay, so let's first start off with uh the smallest part. Um I don't know what this is because I didn't see this in the movie um, and I just feel like they just put this vehicle in just to um, match the price of the set. Uh, it doesn't feel like an interesting vehicle either because it, there's just three wheels and it just feels like a stroller kind of. Um, it, I don't know what it is. It's supposed to be a helicopter or what. Uh, you do get another Batman figure which we've gotten plenty of by now. Um, and then this whole thing does uh, come off. And like that, and you can just leave it like that, I guess. Uh, but that's the least interesting part of the set. Uh, and then you do get um, these wing pieces. Um, you can move up and down like that, side to side. Um, and then I think this Batman is not exclusive. I'm pretty sure I've seen it more than once. I mean, I can't even tell at this point because we have so many um, Batman, so many of these Batman minifigures. Um, from each set so we don't really we can't really find the difference and then this is the second face um, a kind of angry face I guess and that's really cool uh, you can place his second batarang on the side of the vehicle but I just again I don't see why they would want to include this it could have been a lot cooler they could have added something like a car or something because I'm still not sure if this appears in the movie or not I might be completely wrong uh, but yeah that's the least part uh, that's the least um, interesting part of the set. Um, aside from this also, this is another one of those small things uh, that they put in the set just to match the price again. Um, but I actually like this one this time um, because it's actually kind of interesting how um, if you just press it, this thing comes out. And it's not like the exploding thing like for the balloon escape um, set where the whole thing just falls apart with two pieces. But this one's actually really interesting. There is one sticker over here, and then there is one sticker over here. And this is a printed one by two tile. And then uh, this is the whole canister of, uh, I think, um, gas or something like that. I forgot what it is. Um, it toxic waste. And then you get two more um, just for display maybe, or just replace it and then the, put the same thing, I guess. Um, and sometimes if you put it a lot hard, this can actually come off really easily. So, um, but when you do that, the only thing that comes out is the toxic waste thing. So that's pretty interesting. Um, and that is the second part of the set. Um, and this is kind of the most interesting part of the set. Um, mainly because we do get, uh, two new, uh, figures. One is the Bane big fig that we've been wanting to see for the entire time. Um, whenever I saw the Lego Batman movie, when I saw this in the movie, I didn't really know how they were going to pull this off. Um, and they actually did it really well, actually. Um, and it's not just the figure itself. They actually had um, a little tank on the back to show his uh, veins like that, where all he's getting all the power. Um, and I felt like his head is a little too small uh, compared to his body, but I mean, it's on purpose, but I didn't really expect it to be that small, but you can see all the poison, or I really don't know what it's called, I totally forgot, um, and yeah, that's the thing that makes him Bane, and that's really cool, you get the tubes, they're shorter this time, they're not the long versions as you've seen before, uh, and then there's some printing on the belt for a belt on the side and stuff, and then the fur coat is just the really um good part of the big fig uh and then there's also the he gets some pockets on the side so it's not really generic like the hulk ones where they don't really have anything uh this one is actually very interesting um and this is a really great big fig to get uh and to add to your collection um and then there's also another character another villain uh called um mutant leader and that's really cool. Um, he kind of looks like Cyclops. I don't know why. But he is still a great minifigure nonetheless. Um, and I do like the printing on the sides of the arms. And also a little belt uh, printed on the attachment pieces piece of uh, the legs. Uh, and he does have some scars here and there. And that's really a uh, nice detail. So that's really nice. And that is Mutant Leader. Um, 
if you guys can actually tell me uh, who he is or like, you know, if you actually know who he is in the comics, uh, that would be great. Um, and as far as the vehicle goes, uh, the bigger vehicle, um, it is kind of interesting. Um, you get this thing where if you, uh, if you do put it over some terrain or something, it does move up and down like that. It's a kind of all-terrain vehicle, so that's really nice. Um, and then you do get some stickers, uh, a bunch of them over here uh, on the backs, uh, and then the front over here, um, and then there's four stickers over there. Um, and then this is the big tank kind of thing uh, that holds all the uh, toxic waste. And there is a chrome kind of um, uh, umbrella piece, that's what I call it, I still remember as an umbrella piece. Um, so there's two of those. Uh, and then these things move up and down. Um, you can make it look damaged, I guess, by tilting it to the side. Um, and then the flags also move up and down. But the coolest thing, well, the thing is, you have to put in Mutant Leader uh, before you put Bane. Otherwise, you can't really get him inside. Uh, but, like, that's a really compact place, but they still managed to get, uh, pull that off. Uh, and then the gun over here is also really interesting. Um, in the whole picture or on the box it does show like even in the instructions it shows that and you need to put this missile and then put a stud like alternate it like that but um honestly they do give all the bullets like that so you can either put all studs or you can put all the missiles but i just prefer to keep it alternate it would have been cool if there was like a storage unit kind of to keep this uh but that wouldn't really make sense um uh in terms of like in the movie they wouldn't want to store the bullets like that uh, and then you do get this um, I haven't seen this before but you do get this uh, printed magnifying glass that has a target thing a target print over there so that's really cool um, and the usually the magnifying glasses do actually work so that's really interesting to see uh, yeah and this can you can position it whichever way you want and it would have been cool if there's actually handles. Instead, they just put wheels over here um, just because he's a big fig. But that's really fine. Uh, and then there's a turbine or an engine over here. Uh, and then there's just the front of the vehicle. But again, it's it's this is one of the interesting parts of the set. Uh, but this set, I don't really know if it's worth the $50. Um, you're better off buying the Batwing or another interesting set like that. Maybe even the Ultimate Batmobile. But this one, um, it's only interesting probably for the vehicle or the big fig. So that's really nice. But other than that, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe.